Welcome back to Chachi Show. My journey, my story, and my goodness, what a guest we have, Grand Mula himself. Thank you so much Asante for inviting wa. us to your beautiful, beautiful house. Karibu ni yumbani. Yeah, Asante yes. sana. Yes. Tukio kwa njiu menembia story mingi sana. <laughs> Tutaonge hizo story ya timu yako ya Premier League, the one you advocate for. Then you told me about uh, the late uh, 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 Mutula Kilozo. Of course, uh, he taught us when I was at the School of Law, you know, when, when you finish just the university, then you want to become a lawyer. People go to the Kenya School of Law. Yeah. And he was one of the, you know, guys who used to teach us. Yeah. He taught us a course called Professional Ethics. Yes. I mean, at uh, that time, you know, the late senator was, you know, at the top of his game, you know, yes. the best lawyer in town, the yeah. president's lawyer, yeah. Kanu's lawyer, yeah. one party. Yeah. And uh, I think doing very well. Yes. And when you are a young lawyer, you know, you like to hear inspiring, yes. you know, cases. Yes. Cases that make you have yep. hope. Yes. Some of the things he told me most that still uh, resonates with that he said. He says, the more you charge a client, yeah. or the more expensive, or the more money you take from him, yeah. the more the clients love you. <laughs> and that's true. Because clients take a lot of pride in their lawyers, you know. It, yes. I mean, when a client pays you 10, 20, 30 million, hey, my lawyer, you charged me 30 million. He's a good lawyer. <laughs> So he was a fantastic yeah, lawyer, yeah. fantastic teacher. You, know. you picked it up from him. We picked many things from him, you know. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Are you an expensive lawyer? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, I tell guys, we act for my law firm is not a blue chip law firm. Yeah. We don't act for, you know, banks. Uh -huh. Governments. We don't act for government institutions. You, we don't act for parastatals. We act for ordinary Kenyans. You know the guy like you and these guys yes. who walk in. We, they are called walk in. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Normally some lawyers will tell you, oh, me, I act for blue chip companies yeah. and they take pride in that. We don't because we don't act for them. Mm. We act for the guys who walk in into mm. our law firm. Walk in. Walk in. Yeah. And no criminal. We don't do criminal law also. Just commercial. Commercial. Yes. Commercial, constitutional, those yes. kinds of stuff. Yes. yes. You told me every time you get to win a, uh, a case, you. You add a part of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was, no, 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 I was just saying that when I was constructing this building, yeah. <laughs> my house, I mean, it's, I mean, if you look at every, every aspect of it was paid for by a client. So I remember, you know, sometimes, you know, when you are short for money, then a client comes, yeah. he pays money, then you buy the doors or you buy windows or this. Yeah. So I have very fond memories that, yeah. You know, it is my good clients who built for me. This, yeah. Yes. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. And everyone is here. Yes, yes, everybody. My son is here, my daughters, they're yeah. in school. So yeah. I think they're just being picked from school. Yeah. Yes. You forgot to tell us about your wife, Mlikuta Nalini. She, she was born in South Sea. Yeah. So I met her here. Yeah. So a friend of mine introduced me when I was a young lawyer. Yeah, you had come back from the US. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We had our first son, then she went to university in England. Yeah. She studied IT. Mm. I tell guys she got a first class in yeah. IT, but I told her yeah. she will not work because we need someone to work at home. So yeah. ever since she works at home, <laughs> she's yeah. here. She's full time employed. Okay. Yes, 